we have got the most amazing site to show you and an absolute first for me in all my years of guiding out here in the wild. I'll explain everything in a moment, but just, just a quick introduction. My name is Jamie. This afternoon, Dave is on camera with me, and we're coming to you live from the Mara in Kenya. And this baby elephant has just, just been born. It's even younger than the one that we had a couple of months ago walking down the hill. It's only just found its feet. And we really wanted to show it to you because what happened was we actually stopped to do a little bit of a segment on the migration and Brent was busy talking about wildebeest and looked up to see this elephant kicking something. And we realized, actually Dave realized because he's a little bit higher up than us, we realized that it was in fact a newborn baby still in its amniotic sac and the mother was actually breaking it open and getting the baby sort of up and moving and the heart pumping and it breathing. And now we've watched the entire struggle, and David's recorded it all, so we will be able to post what's gone on on social media later tonight. Because we couldn't, unfortunately, the gremlins attacked and we couldn't go live with it. But we've basically seen this baby from the moment it took its very first, very wobbly, very much backwards steps. Look at it now, it's hard to believe that's the same baby elephant. We watched it face plant, I would say, ten times, Brent? that oh hello gorgeous and well done mum it was amazing to watch her behavior and what she's been doing now is covering up the smell of the afterbirth and all of the mucus and everything else that comes along with the birth of a hundred kilogram little baby elephant and remember you are watching this live so send through your questions on hashtag safari live on Twitter now she's right out in the open and you can see her distress in the beginning as she tried to sort of encourage the baby to stand up on its own two feet four feet they've got four feet as she tried to get it up and moving and what's fascinating to me about this is that she's all alone we saw the rest of the herd with her earlier but they've moved off far away in fact I can't even see them anymore They've moved off into a thicket that is behind where I am at the moment. And they left her all alone, except for one young cow that was with her. I cannot tell you what an emotional experience this is. It's the first I've been dying to see an elephant birth. And this is the last thing we expected. We're sweaty, we're covered in sun cream, we're hot, we're dusty. It's been a very long day that started at 6 o'clock this morning and has been mostly driving because the distances here are something different to what we're used to but this has made everything a spectacular day to remember oh look at its little ears and its little trunk it's got another no idea what to do with it and it's got such an absurdly disproportionate tail uh, Bobby elephants do have umbilical cords but you don't see them when they're born they actually essentially ripped out during the birthing process I've never seen a baby elephant with a dangling umbilical cord which you do see with things like giraffe and antelope often they dangle for potentially up to a couple of weeks after they're born I think the elephant's umbilical cord must be really rather short they have to have umbilical cords because there has to be a transfer of nutrients and waste products between the mother and the baby She's got to take all of the sort of the, the toxic substances away from the baby and excrete them herself like urea. And at the same time, she's got to feed the baby essentially through the placenta and then through the umbilical cord. Oh, I want to know if it's a boy or a girl, Dave. Come on, little one. Brent thinks it's a girl. I'm impressed. I, I basically let Brent do all the talking and I sat glued to my binoculars the entire time. And Shelly, yes, she is, absolutely. She's all alone without any herd protection, and I don't, it's not what I expected. The elephant births that I've nearly encountered, I've never actually seen one, but very nearly seen. Um, the elephant herd has always been around the female. And in this case, they weren't. And they just kind of upped and left. They didn't even really, to be completely honest with you, they didn't even look all that stressed. They just 
left her. And she, she's been fantastic. She's been so calm about the whole thing. There were a couple of moments where the baby wasn't standing up, it wasn't moving, where she started to get a little bit concerned. But now you can see she's busy covering herself in dirt. And what you're looking at is the end product, in answer to Steph's question, of 22 months that this mum, sorry, there's just a car coming past, you might have caught that sound, 22 months of her life that she's put in uh, produce a baby 